Hi guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. Oh my god, can you believe six months have passed already? Guys, we are doing our six monthly kind of what I've been loving empties video. Um, so I do these twice a year, as you can tell. It is a six month, six month times two is a year. That's two a year, Shannon Lee. And we go through literally all the bits and bobs that I've been loving, my empties that I would definitely be repurchasing and refueling for next autumn winter. So the way that I do this, I feel like they go up so if this has gone up March, we have April, May, June, July, August, September. So it's like September, then you have October, November, December, January, February, March. September and March is when these videos come up. So this is everything that I've been loving through the autumn and the winter slowly coming into the spring months. But it doesn't mean that these are just for this season. This is literally stuff that you can use any time and you'll probably recognise a few from the monthly favourites. But I thought, you know what? I quite like this little series and one thing that you will be seeing in the next six monthly is how much I've been blooming love in my home, home bargains bottle. Best 2 99 I've ever spent. But we have quite a few categories. We've got some fitness because obviously I dip in and out of fitness when it comes to autumn and winter. I still do like to have my drinks just to still keep a little bit of protein in my body. And then we have some miscellaneous, plenty of candles. We've got some food. We've got some hair care, body care, face care drinks. And of course, the big part is bath care. And there is a lot of bath care. And you're probably thinking, Shan, you're in another dressing cap. But this is a new one. This is a new one. Guys, you all said to me, Shan, go Asda. There's gonk bedding. Gonk bedding and gonk throw for Easter. I said to Mama G, would you like it for Mother's Day? She said, no. And you're not buying any more blooming bedding because you're on a ban. I was like, oh. I need to get something. So I popped into the George section and I got this gorgeous sunflower dressing gown they had it in pajamas as well when i night dress but i really like the dressing gown so um yes i've got this and you'll probably see me living in this now because i feel like the red one is my winter one baby yoda she's my snoody i've got to wear her sparingly so this is now my new spring summer dressing gown shall we get into the video <laughs> right mama g it cannot wait for me to film this video because it has literally been a giant iceland bag worth of bits for the past six months i'm just all chucking there and then in my room i have a little mini bin for the monthly favor she's like sham we need to do the recycling i'm like we will do it at the end of the month or at the end of the six months so let's start off with probably the biggest bits and that is from the kind of health and fitness section as you all know after me holiday in october i haven't set foot back in the gym I know I have started to get my steps in and I've started to look at ways to get steps in where I kind of get a benefit out of it and I've started to do that this week very very happy and I'm also thinking of trying to get back into the swing of a gym on a Sunday just so it can be kind of a bit more like productive I know Sunday is normally my chill day but I feel I need to keep on the move but I'm not gonna lie this weather has just not been a vibe has it it's been terrible raining i mean i still can't go out much in the wetness because of my hair i don't want it streaking and becoming a goddamn mess so once it gets dry i will be back into my runs after work going and having long walks but for now i need to be able to go somewhere for a walk that's still a distance get something and then come back so i thought i'm going to kill two birds with one stone i feel like i'm going to reinvest in a little bit of self-care and that for me was a little sunbed every now and again and you all know i'm normally very pale and when i have my tan if you guys saw me when i was in dominican i just blooming loved it absolutely loved it and i still actually hold my tan line on my bum I still have my little white mark on my bum from when I had my bikini bruise. But yeah, um, I'm going to have a little walk to my local sunbed shop, which is about two and a half, two point eight 2.8 miles away. Go there, have a nice little, say, 9 or 12 minute holiday, and then walk back. And then before you know it, that's like over five mile done. So yes. However, even though I haven't been going, I have still been keeping up with like my drinks every now and again. I would probably say I don't do this religiously every day. I'm probably saying at the moment three to four times a week but 
you know my go-to is my protein and I don't like the protein drinks that are like the milkshakes. However, the only ones that I will really have are from like Lidl or Aldi. I don't mind their little protein shakes because they're little but I can't be faffing around making my own because I feel like whenever I make it, it always goes lumpy and it's just not a vibe. So I have clear way isolate. Isolate? Isolate. Clear way isolate that's it and these basically would just be like a flavored water so the ones that i went through the past six months was tropical dragon fruit and peach tea now you get a scoop with these and they say that it comes with 20 servings now when i done it i found that the 20 serving was quite strong for my palate and i weren't i was finding when i had the actual proper scoop i wasn't drinking it as much so what i would do was i would have two half scoops a day so i'm still getting the same amount of protein but it's just more manageable for how my palate is because there's nothing worse than having a protein drink and you get halfway through and you're like Ooh. like when you physically can't stomach it anymore and talking of peach tea i actually have iced lemon tea in here because i've just made another batch up oh lovely perfect and refreshing talking of refreshing guys there's nothing better than getting a new dressing gown is there i've come out of the bar i've put this on my hair we're just we're just not going to talk about the hair okay at the moment she is still dry shampoo queen she's dry shampoo to the nines we've just done a bit of skincare um you might have seen in the reset day vlog there was a new item in my skincare. I picked it up from Holland and Barrett and it is a cream for, I feel like the condition is called Rosacea. Now, a lot of you will know when it was Mother Nature, my cheeks and forehead would always flare up. But the past few months, I noticed that they weren't going down and I was noticing when I was getting stressed at work or anything, my cheeks would like, and I mean, looking at them now, they're not too bad they're not terrible but this cream that i picked up from holland and barrett i feel it's called graham's and it's all natural because i have very sensitive skin so for the amount of skincare i have you probably think well how can you have sensitive skin but it's all like that stuff that works for my skin um and i was researching it and i thought mm, i don't know what it is and i put in the symptoms of that and it come back the majority was rosacea i think it's called rosacea like rosy cheeks so I've started trying this cream. You put it either on as a cleanser or you can put it on as an intense moisturiser, which is what I do morning and night. I just put a tiny dab because it is, it's not the thickest of moisturisers. It's just like a very nice loose one. So I put a little bit on morning and night and we shall see how it goes. It says it can take up to a month to reduce like the prominent redness of it. So we'll just go along with it if not i'm gonna have bright rosy cheeks permanently to match my rosy hair but the hair's not always going to be red so we need to get it sorted don't we what category next let's do like the miscellaneous okay let's do miscellaneous we have several boxes these are my go-to guys you know from the bargain shops being a uh, glasses wearer here these spectacle wipes are an absolute beauty you can pick these up now in post offices if say your post office has like a little pharmacy bit on it you can pretty much get these in all the ones i've seen in my local towns you can pick them up home bargains savers bnm panland these are everywhere and these are a game changer if you're like me and are just very lazy i mean i've bought the sprays before i've bought the cleaning cloths i can't be bothered you literally get these wipes out take them out clean your glasses chuck the wipe it dries instantly you don't have to faff around thinking it's going to get smeary and they are a pound for 52 wipes i mean that's not bad is it that is not bad at all and i have absolutely been loving them alongside my miley little gel wipes as we all know i have been doing my own gel nails for over 10 years now we've got a lovely little aqua blue moment at the minute thinking we was going to start getting into the spring weather and all we've had is torrential downpour i probably should have maybe dyed them dark navy or black or gray to go with the gloomy vibe outside but these are if i can hold them in my possession the gel prep and shine wipes two in one wipes for gel manicures and this box contains approximately 200 wipes these are great because 
if say there is nothing worse than when you do a fresh set of gels 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 yes and then say like a couple of weeks later i could be doing something at work and i ping one off and i'm like oh great with these you literally quickly wipe over put your base your color your top scoot it over and you have a whole new set of gels again also i like these because they're kind of nice just to give your nails a bit of a freshen up sometimes when i do my nails they normally last between three to four weeks however sometimes at the two week stage they can kind of look not as fresh so what i do is i go over with one of those wipes put a little bit of cuticle oil and it looks like you've got freshly done gels which i'm not complaining against because as i say by doing it here at home it saves me God knows how much a set of gels is now. I think in my local area it's about £40, 35 40 quid. I haven't got that spare expense to be um wasting that. Well, not wasting that. I mean, I would love to be someone who can go and get their nails done. But I genuinely, my bank balance would say no. Who are you trying to be, Miss High Maintenance? Like, no. So, as I say, I've got my kit. I've actually got like a new miley lamp which i still haven't used yet because it can't fit in the drawer that i got it to go in didn't really think that through but i feel like i might i want to do like a little change around my dressing table soon maybe instead of having a skincare corner i could have a nail care corner what do we reckon hmm who knows who knows who knows and another little thing that Honestly, lifesaver, and I'm actually on another box as we speak. Compeed cold sore patches. Guys, if you are like me, and hello, little friend that is still chilly, I get cold sores whenever I'm run down. I will normally feel it way before it's too late. No, that didn't make sense. I literally feel them. So, you know, people say, like, if you feel a cold sore coming up, I'll put loads of stuff on, prevent it. My body don't work like that. I will feel it and it will be up within hours. When we went to Disney on Ice that morning, I woke up and I was like, I feel like I've got a cold sore. We went to Disney on Ice, my compi patch come off, I had a cold sore, which is the one that is recovering on my lip now. I mean, the tenant is almost getting evicted, but it's still just there slightly. And I tell you what, this one's really weird because normally... When I get cold sores, you know me, they normally tend to go for the middle of my lip on my scar around this area. But this one's like right in the corner and oh my god, I cannot tell you how aggravated it is. Because every time it starts to heal and scab, obviously I have to move my mouth to talk, to eat. Obviously I've got to eat and the scab just keeps breaking. So that is very very highly annoying and i've got at almost the end but i haven't got it because they are not fully empty yet my zavirax and blistex relief cream honestly guys i freaking hate having a cold sore give me anything give me the sniffles the coughs whatever i hate cold sores blooming hate them absolutely hate them i actually don't know I'm looking at it thinking, is there anything that I wouldn't repurchase? No, I like it all. Let's go on to candles because with the way the weather has blooming been, mm -mm, I'm not about it. You can see I've even got candles burning now. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm sitting on my heated electric blanket with candles on and it is still freezing. So I've kind of been going through little odds and bobs at the moment. Um... With the candles, you would have seen all of the festive ones were in the Christmas monthly favourites. But these are the ones that kind of stood out to me that I would definitely go and repurchase again. So these ones, I will be cleansing the wax, cleansing, cleaning the wax out and keeping these as holders. So these were both from B&M and that is just the other candles falling. And the only thing, this one, it didn't burn down evenly. That was the only thing but you know me i love anything with my initial on i just like stuff personalized with s so yeah this was b m many moons ago and this was tesco so after this video now i can put the water in them lift the wax out and keep them you probably think shan why do you keep them and i'm not gonna lie my lovelies i don't know half the time i actually don't know i just feel like if they're a nice little container you can use them for something and it's all about like is it upcycling like recycling upcycling that's a vibe now this was a vibe this is glade 
I feel like it was called like Sunset Bliss. But Glade in general, over Christmas, you would have seen, I think it was, probably would have been December monthly favourites. I had the candy cane, the frosted berries and the mulled wine candles. They do them in reed diffusers as well. And they're slightly smaller than this and they're circular with like a little um, pattern around the side. These, love them. However, I feel like the only place I see Glade candles are the bargain shops or Wilkinson's. If you've got a Wilkinson's near you, always have a pop in because I know that they will always have them in. It's just perfect. This was like kind of my transition into summer scents because we needed a little transition because I didn't want to give up one of my favourite scents. And I went through, actually I think about four of these. Whoopsie, but... I've got two here. I think I'll probably chuck the other two bottles. Um, the Yankee Candle Apple Cinnamon Cider. Guys, this is the most perfect. Oh, that one smells a little bit charred. This one's probably going to smell the same, but no, that one's nicer. It is, as it says, apple cinnamon cider. So, you know, like you have your mulled wine. You have your mulled cider at Winter Wonderland or your festive Christmas markets. Oh my goodness, your room will smell like those for infinity. These ones, the Home Inspiration, is kind of like the Tesco's brand, which I believe are still Yankee, but they're just like a different, it's like a supermarket version, I feel like. But yeah, cannot fault them, cannot fault them indeed. And talking of Yankee, we have one more alongside, now this, I feel... I picked this up when I went to a Braintree outlet, free pool, and it's citrus orange by the brand Flame Homeware. And oh, you know me, anything citrus, I absolutely love. And again, with the Yankee theme, this I actually have in the big one back there, which I feel like I might be swapping over once we start getting into summer months. Exotic fruits. You would have seen this scent forever and a day on my channel. It is. Oh, I just can't complain. It is literally everything that you see on the front of the packaging. It's kiwis, grapefruit, looks like star fruit, mango, papaya, apples. It's honestly one of the most perfect citrus scents. And you will notice as well, whenever I go away to the log cabins, I always take candles with me. Always take blooming candles with me because I know you have like the fires and all of the log burners and the heating, but there's just nothing more relaxing, I don't think, than having having a nice candle burning and as in the Luke Coombs song uh the kind of love we've made let's get some candles burning honestly addicted to my country music so far addicted right I'm gonna have a little uh refreshment and then what have we got when we come back we have some foods and drinks hair care and when I say hair care we all know it's only going to be one brand isn't it oopsie we have oh that could have gone in with uh the candle bits these oh my goodness oh hold on oh it has got a little bit left maybe we will reuse this this has a little bit left these you pick up from tesco probably get them in the lights like wilkinson's as well they are a pound you get them in many other colors but of course i get pink then we've got a little bit of bath care and face care and then a huge selection of bath care because what can I say? Your girl loves her baths. <laughs> right, so over the past six months, I pretty much eat everything and anything. However, i done a haul with one of these and I cannot get them for love nor money at my home bargains. However, it's still going in the empties favourites because... This was probably one of the most delightful little drinks that I drank. And it is by the brand Silk or Silk A. Cream liqueur with a twist hazelnut. Guys, if you remember the home bargains where I bought a pack of five of these. I thought they was like leftover Christmas stock. And I saw this and I was like, do I drink it in the home bargains hall? Yes, I did end up drinking it in the home bargains hall. But... I am still going to be on the hunt for these for every single month because my local stores do not have them anymore, which makes me think they were Christmas stock. 
but it guttens me. It absolutely guttens me. I don't even know if guttens is a word, but I'm going to make it up today because I felt so sad when I went back the following months and I couldn't find it because I was like, oh. the others I have in for potentially like a say or shot it video with mum, but that one is something I could quite happily just pick up and down. We all know how much I love my babies, which if I think by the time this goes up, Tesco did have a running offer of one litre for £13. I don't know if that was only up till Mother's Day or it might be, for, say, a few days after. But, yeah, if you like Baileys like me and, I mean, I miss it. I miss it so much. But I did uh, buy myself the cheeky little bottle, let's just say. And then I was trying to find um, along the way some snack alternatives. And I found these and I'm not going to lie, I was very impressed. I have literally just done another order with Holland and Barrett for my seaweed crisps. Yes, don't judge. I do like my seaweed crisps, okay? But these are actually great from Holland and Barrett. They're vegan friendly as well. They are soya and chickpea popped bites. And the flavour that I get is barbecue. Absolutely gorgeous. They kind of remind me of a mixture between like a really thin snacker jack but poppadom vibe if you know what i mean like they are actually very very nice and these oh you can get these in share bags aka shannon bags and pff, obliterated they're by the brand hippies chickpea puff snacks in herbs we trust is the flavor i get they're basically like a what's it style and you can get various flavors again you can get i think barbecue or a spicy one but i like the in herbs we trust very very nice that plant protein they're only 90 calories and i just absolutely love it three and a half grams per serving i mean that's not a lot but the share bag 16 grams of protein i could eat these all day long i should really try the other flavors maybe try the barbecue next but i kind of just gravitate towards them and then i mean i could not not keep every single packaging of this but guys if you know me you know i love a cheeky mug shot don't i but the one that i have been obsessing over is the chicken and mushroom noodles now if you remember back on my channel beforehand mum would always love the roast chicken twists now she still likes them but i feel you know when you have something too much and now she's just kind of like meh she will either go for these ones which we have to sometimes buy 10 packs when we go to the uh, bargain shops five for mum and five for me because these are up there with the favorites mum used to be roast chicken swirls and i was always kind of like tomato and herb pasta twirls or minestrone now i am 100 percent like chicken and mushroom noodles the only other one that mum likes is oh, it's another green packet i want to say creamy cheese one is it cheese and broccoli or maybe just a cheese it's another green one but as i say yeah she will have the roast chicken if she has to if there's not many there she'll pick them up but primarily now we both go for the chicken and mushroom because it's just oh, gorgeous and if you want a really big snack just have two of them like i did at the log cabin whoopsie so yes but amongst other things what else have i been loving for the past six months pretty much everything i mean there's not really a lot of food that i don't like is there my lovelies let's be perfectly honest there's not really foods that i don't like oopsie oopsie daisy oopsie daisy i hurt you again god throwing it back to inchy strider there guys right and then coming into terms of drinks again you know me i've gone through a lot of love and hates over the past six months i've got back in love with iron brew of course all of my bargain shop drinks like your fanta your dr pepper everything like that but these are ones that i will religiously have i'm gonna say two to three times a week this you pick up in tesco and it is jimmy's iced coffee original get these as part of your meal deal and also excuse me tesco since when have the meal deals gone up the meal deals i feel are like are they 354 quid now that's like on prices of boots and co-op what happened to the three quid meal deal i mean come on and then these you will recognize these these are a staple in the home bargains halls it's by the brand oshi 
Oshi normally do the 750ml big like Lucasade Gatorade juke bottles, but these are the vitamin waters, magnesium B and vitamins and minerals. 69.79p these are, but great way to get some added little chemicals into your body. Well, not chemicals, vitamins. They wouldn't do it if it was bad for you. But yeah, lemon and orange flavour and red grape dragon fruit are my go-tos of these. And as I say, if you see the monthly home bargains haul, you pretty much every haul will see an Oshi product in there. I cannot go to a supermarket or like a, what do they call it? Like a, not super drug. Well, super drug is the shop, but oh, what do they call them in America? A drug store? You cannot see me going to a drug store and not picking up some dry shampoo. And I mean, these are just a few. I probably go through two a month. So yeah, we've got um five here. Something here has leaked. And I really hope it's not then whatever it is leaking on my electric blanket. Oopsie. Oh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. So, Batiste is very expensive now. I'm not going to lie. The big bottles are pretty much a fiver. And I'm like, yeah. I will pick these up at Super Juggle Boots when they're like 3 75 Of course, you have the classic original. This if I had to recommend, I would. It's just a classic fresh scent, which, you know me, I am more tropical. And I almost just wiped myself in the face with that. That would have been entertaining, wouldn't it? The Dry Shampoo Tropical. This is pretty much my go-to. Any time of the year, this is what I like. It's the exotic coconut. However, as speaking from experience now, I feel I'm getting to the stage where I need to wash it. Because you know when your scalp just feels congested. So I feel like tonight I need to do a nice scalp scrub. Get me old Tresemme exfoliating scalp scrub. And then give it a good old clean. I have got the top up colours if need be. But I feel like I'm just going to wash it and see how it goes. I don't want to. Ooh. Oh, a little twin Jimmy booby. Um, I don't want to put the colour on and then if you remember how I went with the green one the first time I was going to wash the green hair I put the colour on didn't rinse properly stained everything tried to get it off my skin and gave myself chemical burns with the hair colour remover wipes and I'm not gonna lie I don't really feel like going back down that route again I feel like I might just give my scalp a nice scrub and I might even ask mum to come in and help me because she'll see like if the water runs clear and everything but yeah we need to give the barnet a wash and then I might even style it might put it in me little um, blow dry. <coughs> me little uh, roller for Princess Leia. I need to get another one of them actually. Primark had one at Christmas when I was up Newcastle with Nan. And it was a Minnie Mouse one. And gutted I didn't see it until would come out. And I couldn't um, make Nan <laughs> wait again. While I'm like, Nan, let me just go and pop up and get that. Can't find any more. So I will be on the hunt. Because the ones that I have seen are quite expensive. I'm not going to lie. Quite expensive indeed. But we had some new little scents. I feel like I done... When did I do this? I feel like I done a Boots or Super Drug order just after Christmas when they had like their sales on. And it wasn't like a big enough um, purchase to do a haul on. But I did stock up on some of the baby ones. I feel these were down to maybe like two quid. I picked up the Fresh. Now, I really like this. This was a citrus scent. So this I will actually rate really highly along with the Tropical. And then, oh... Yes, I actually rate all three of these minis. We have Self Love, which is Beaming Berries, and Radiance, which is Dazzling Melon. Now, we all know if anything is melon, your girl loves it, okay? I love it. I can't help it. I need to look for big ones of these. Yes, right up my street. That's, see, that's one thing that I always need. When me and mum do our Easter gift boxes, like, it's going to be, like, a lot of Easter-themed stuff, obviously. I might actually say to her, it's not Easter-themed, I could do with a few new little dry shampoos because I am slowly running them down. As you all know, come birthdays and Christmases, there are times for just kind of my stuff to get restocked and it's stuff that I will generally use and essentially need in my life. And Batiste, I mean Batiste, if ever anyone was watching from Batiste and you would like to sponsor, 
Hi, I've been using your products way, 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 probably over a decade when I was in a, I was going to say high school, that's very American, when I was in secondary school, and yeah, if you have any new products, I have actually been really loving the overnight cleanse, I haven't got that in here though, because it's not empty, because you literally just need a few spritzes, go to sleep, I normally put my hair like in a little loose pony, wake up in the morning, and it looks like it's freshly washed, hallelujah! hallelujah a little bit of body care i've kind of fallen out of my body care which i shouldn't because i do actually need to keep on top of it especially now if i'm going to start having a little sunburn and treat myself i want to make sure that my skin is nice and hydrated nice and moisturizing but just a couple of little ones my righteous butter and pina colada body shop i feel pina colada from body shop is a discontinued scent now but I do feel these were what I was using when I come back off holiday after my Pisbuen tan intensifier when those were what I was using to uh, keep up the tan. And I feel I kept my tan for quite a while. I feel like I kept it up right up until Christmas. Then in the new year, it just started to fade. But as I say, it hasn't faded on my bum bum. I still have my tan line there and I'm like, okay, maybe we just need to get the whole rest of it. Sorry if this is really annoying that I keep her moving my hair out. But you know, it's like when you have a dressing gown. I keep looking in the viewfinder and I'm like, I can see them little strands are coming out. Right. Oh, another brand which have very kindly sent me bits and bobs before in the uh, past. And that is Femfresh. I go through these... <laughs> I'm going to say maybe one every couple of weeks. Very, very good. I have had the wipes. The wipes, I don't mind. I think they're really good if you're on the go. But if you have long nails like me, when I try and pull it, I always end up ripping the wipe. This, I absolutely love. Um, I have the talcum powders. I have the daily washes. I have, like, the really sensitive washes. I just love the brand, like, FemFresh as a whole. As a whole, it is right up my street. And then going into, like, skincare... Just with like our facial bits. So, you know with my moisturisers, I probably should just stick to one moisturiser, but I don't. I swap and change as to how I feel. So, currently, we are using up the remnants. And I haven't actually got any empty because where I keep alternating, they're just getting lower and lower. But none are actually getting blooming empty. And we are flicking between the Nivea Daily Moisturiser and also the Nivea Big Cream. Like, you remember the original pods? Also, Soap and Glory, and a little Charlotte Tilbury is almost empty. But, these are, this is the replacement of this. If you know me, for forever and a day at Superdrug, I was using the Deep Cleansing Pore Pads. Then they discontinued them. Superdrug, I actually don't know what you were thinking of. So they bought out a semi-replacement one, and this was by the B Soft brand in Superdrug, Multi-Acid Retexturizing Pads. Exfoliates and brightens the skin. So these are the replacement, and they are good. They're not as soft. Um, no, they're not as hard on the actual pad. They are a lot more softer. So I suppose that's a benefit in a way. But yeah, I don't know why Superdrug ever discontinued them. Face wipes. I don't tend to go through many face wipes nowadays, but they are still always handy to have in. Those are biodegradable ones from Tesco. I normally just pick mine up really from Tesco or Primark. Unless Super Juggle Boots have like an offer on, say, a branded one that's caught my eye. Like, I do quite like the simple ones and the Garnier, but I'm not about paying like three, four quid for face wipes. I much rather have my little pads with me, my cellar waters, and everything like that. Which brings us on to my cellar water. This is the combination and oily skin. Removes makeup, cleanses and mattes. No rinsing. I do love a bit of my cellar water. I'm not going to lie. I do love it. I'll tell you what one I really want to try. The uh, yellow one. Like the summer one. And also I feel like there's one with oil in. That could be interesting to try. But yeah. I do love a good bit of hair care and skin care. But what I love even more. For all the bottles next to me is bath care <laughs> right bath care bath care bath care i can't show you the amount of bath bombs that i went through in the past six months my lovelies but if you watch vlogs if you watch just general videos pretty much you know i have a bath bomb every weekend in my bath sometimes i'll have a little midweek one if i'm feeling a little saucy however bath bombs are just yeah 
and all of mine will pretty much be from Lush. I don't tend to go to Lush outside of an occasion. So when I say that, I mean Valentine's I'll buy Lush, Easter I'll buy Lush, Halloween I'll buy Lush and Christmas I'll buy Lush. It's not a shop that I go to, say for like a general stock up, unless there is a scent that really catches my eye, which I'm almost at the bottle of Dirty Spring Wash. And that is a lovely like tea tree eucalyptus scent. Absolutely perfect. So the one that I wish they'd done all year round. And it saddens me every time that I use the rest of this. Because I'm like I have now got to wait till November. And you know what I'm going to show you. It is the classic Snow Fairy. I did not get the giant Snow Fairy this year. Well last year. Because I feel it had gone up ridiculous it was like 37 38 pound if i remember correctly and i'm like no so i do like the little one i tried to get the medium one but they didn't have any in but i still have my giant size so i've still got the giant bottle which is about halfway full at the moment because what i did i had a medium bottle and i just squeezed it into that to top it up because i still would like to keep the big bottle just on the off chance that like i could maybe if say i was gifted or given these from like mum for Easter or Christmas or whatever. Instead of having tons of little bottles. I just put them all in the big one. But yeah. Are you a lover or a hater of Snow Fairy my lovelies? I most definitely am a lover. And I love everything and anything to do with Snow Fairy. I.e. candles. We have a couple of candles here. And then we kind of have like our go to brands. So for the sporting needs. This is... This is the scent to get, let me tell you that. This is the Lynx Epic Fresh Fresh Bruce with grapefruit and tropical pineapple. Now, you know me, this is my gym go-to. So I have this in the body spray. I have this in the antiperspirant and I also have it in the roll-on. Love it. Absolutely love it. You know, like it used to typically be Lynx Chocolate or Lynx Africa. For me now, it's this absolutely love it and it smells oh it just smells absolutely phenomenal now this is probably the one with the most bougiest packaging but i love this and if you've seen any of the vlogs recently i got one at christmas so i am very well stocked up this is the baylis and hardin elements and it's white tea and neroli now first off packaging gorgeous they do other scents where it will be pink marble and black marble as well. But I like this one. The white tea and neroli, fabulous. It is a very fresh scent. And almost, it reminds me of like hotel quality. You know when you go to a nice hotel and you have the little freebies. And whenever you try them, they're always very fresh, very light, just luxurious. Okay, they smell expensive. So, yes. I absolutely love that. And again, whenever that is in boots on offer, it's normally about, I'm going to say £3 or three fifty a bottle. But otherwise, if I see it for a couple of quid, I will get a little stock up. Maybe I should try the black and pink ones. I feel the pink is maybe rose. And I feel the black could be maybe musk or something like an aftershave style. I would have to give them a go. I would have to give them a go. Now... I go through quite a lot of this brand. So it is the brand Cousons, which I'm sure people said is part of Imperial Leather. But I have one here from Cousons called Carex. So I know it says a shower cream, but I went through a stage just before um, my holiday and actually coming back after where my skin just got really dry. I don't know if it was maybe being in the heat, being in the sun again, but my skin was really dry and sensitive. So I used to pop this in. A little uh, it's dermatologically tested and it was 100% soap free. It was really calming on my skin. So it was a shower cream. So I would use it as a bubble bath and also as a shower gel. Because I just did not want anything aggravating my skin. And then again by Cousins, but this is the Imperial Leather. Be happy. You will know this is not the only bottle that I've gone through in the past six months. Because nearly every monthly favourites will include a Cousins slash Imperial Leather. And another little brand, which I absolutely love and swear by, Raydox. Raydox, oh, vroom, vroom, vroom. Um, Raydox is my go-to, especially with the gym. Coming back from the gym, it would always be the Raydox bath salts and the muscle soak and everything like that. 
now we're starting to get back into the walking and that i feel like these are very much going to be needed so the first one i got was the radox muscle therapy muscle therapy is so well needed and as i say if you know me normally i get the little boxes of muscle soak salts currently i have a huge bottle like a giant one of the stress relief which i'm slowly working my way through and then this one was the double xl radox feel refreshed i feel like i got this from home bargains for about two quid i just love a bit of radox you know radox it really reminds me of like my nan that's what she has in her baths and i don't know what it is because they do have such distinctive scents and you genuinely i will get out of radox and i feel so relaxed so calm and just like zen you know just absolute zen and peace and that is what I'm here for. Another little one, very similar to Radox, but again, I feel these are like 99p in the bargain shops. Original Sauce. There's been loads of these, but this is the one that is a standout for me. Again, because it is tingly mint and tea tree. We all know that if it's tea tree, if it's mint, if it's like eucalyptus, spearmint, all along those vibes, that is a bit of me. Oh my goodness. Sounded like someone's car just dropped off the back of a van. literally sounds like someone's car is slamming off the back of a van oh well and then when you go to home bargains these are a couple of brands that caught my eye astonish body and soul refreshing golden glow bath soak now this is the peach scent and if you remember when i very first bought this i was very worried because astonish is like bleach and disinfectant and oh oh it still smells delightful and I was really worried that I was going to put this in and it was going to burn my skin. A lot of you reassured me, Shannon Lee, do not worry. This will not burn your blooming skin. And I was like, thank goodness. Thank goodness indeed. But yeah, these are 179 I want to say, for a litre. Great value. And another range, Dead Sea Collection. They have this in lavender. But I stick with coconut and I've actually got the whole trio at the moment. I've bought another one of bath salts I've still got half of my huge body wash and I also have the scrub of this the Dead Sea collection It really just gives me spa vibes like the packaging is so nice The body wash is on a big soap dispenser The salt scrub is probably half the size of that and obviously you scoop out and get what you need to but yeah lavender it probably would be lovely if you're into that scent, but I'm not really a lavender person unless I need it to be. Unless I really am starting to feel stressed or struggling with my sleep. But coconut. Bath salts, amen. Go to home bargains and pick them up. I feel like everything is about 150 to 199 for that range. And the last few things, which again are a classic staple for any Christmas birthday, dove. Dove is perfect because I am I do go through hit and miss stages with my skin. So the first one we have is the Pampering Shea Butter and Vanilla Body Wash. This is probably what I would say is the classic Dove go-to. You know, just that gorgeous, soft, creamy, buttery scent. Yes, please. I would say get in my belly because majority of these like bath products smell good enough to eat. But I really wouldn't um, recommend it. I really wouldn't. Then we have the hydrating care. This was the aloe vera and birch water to replenish the skin and moisturise. So the thing that I love with Dove is you have all different options. So it's not just simply like a caring bath. Oh, we've got another caring bath. We've got a pampering one there. And then we have the sheer butter and warm vanilla in the classic. Maybe this is the classic one. Canon. There we go. But they do have like all different ones. I'm currently going through at the moment my Dove exfoliant. And if you also know me with Dove, they do exfoliant tubs. Like sugar scrub beads. Oh, they are delightful. The one in the, I want to say aloe and cucumber water, the green lid. Oh, divine. Absolutely divine. Well, my bed, my lovelies looks like it needs a trip to the recycling center and mama g is going to be so blooming happy that they can all go in the recycling bag even though the rubbish was a couple of days ago she's going to be like shannon lee you said she was going to be filming this video for weeks and weeks and then it just kind of didn't happen 
Oopsie. <laughs> so my lovelies, another six months has passed and a really nice little selection of what I've been loving. We've had quite a lot of empties. I mean, shock horror, the biggest section was the bath care. Oopsie. But if you do want to see what I've been loving month to month instead of like a huge one, then always check out my monthly favourites because you will still always get the food and drink, the candles, the homeware, the bath products, everything like that in the monthly favourites. But these are the ones that like stick in my mind. So what I do at the end of every month or throughout the month, right? So this is how it goes. From the first till probably I'm going to say 25th, 26th, I will, whatever I have as an empty, I will put in one big bag. Then at the end of the month when I fill my monthly favourites, I'll obviously pick out and show you guys. And then any that really stick in my mind then go in another bag for the uh, huge empties video, which is what you are watching right now. I will also leave link down below the first one. So from last October, September, October, I'll leave that down and you can see if maybe there are some recurring themes, whether we have a few newbies on the scene or let me know as well, what would you say is your go-to product or has been your go-to product for the last six months? Anything that you see, I think that is like my religious, I need that in my life. But what you don't need in your life is me rabbiting away as always. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. And leave me a comment. What was your favourite bit? Have you tried any of these? As I say, are any of these part of your staples? Have you tried the hippies? The crisps? Are you going to try the vegan soy and chickpea tarts? The Oshi tarts? Tartlet poppers? The crisp things. The little crisp things. The Oshi vitamin waters? What is your bath care brand go to? And with the uh, micellar water, what colour lid do you go? I've had the pink one before. I've had green. I feel like I've had a blue, which is like a calming one. But as I say, there's yellow, and I'm sure there's one with an oil in there. But yeah, I do hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And as I say, take care, stay safe as always. And I'll see you tomorrow, which will be a PR slash subscriber unboxing because you guys have been ever so kind and me and Mama G have actually received quite a few parcels over the few weeks. So we thought we'd do a little video. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. Bye guys.